Hi, in Jersey. I'm here at Shooter's Bar in Exeter, New Hampshire. Governor Chris Christie just left. He had a town hall meeting here earlier. I've been following him around the state all week, and a few things happened up here. A few moments this week that put on full display this baffling disconnect that permeates his persona and his policies. First, for most of the week, Christie showed off his ability to personally connect with voters here in a way that perhaps nobody in the field of Republican hopefuls, and certainly not Hillary Clinton, can pull off. Hey, man. Funny, friendly, goofy, affable, open, seemingly genuine. In one interaction after another, he comes off as an everyday guy able to connect and relate to the average American. And people responded. What we need is honesty. We need someone who's straightforward. And um, uh, this is Governor Christie. My mother died. I'm an Italian American. My mother died when I was 15 years old. He really touched me with that story about his mother's deathbed visit, and uh, the visit he made. And it showed how human he is. Then the other thing that happened here this week, in a meeting with the editorial board at the Manchester Union Leader, Christie says that he is not a rich man. Christie, whose 2013 tax return showed his family pulled in almost $700,000. That puts him in the top 1% of all Americans in terms of income. He's not a rich guy. Reporters asked him about it again the next day, and he doubled down. Governor, do you not consider yourself a wealthy man? No, I don't. No, I don't consider myself a wealthy man. Listen, uh, wealth is defined in a whole bunch of different ways, and, and, in, and in the end, um, Mary Pat and I have worked really hard. We've done well over the course of our lives. Um, but you know, we have four children to raise and a lot of things to do. So no, I don't. I don't consider. I don't think most people think of me that way. Yes, sir. I mean, is this the tell it like it is tour or the tell it like it ain't tour? I mean, that is so wildly out of touch with the reality of everyday Americans whose hands he's shaking that it boggles the mind. And it made me wonder, maybe the reason so many of his policies seem to favor the rich is that he's lost all sense of what rich is. And that really to me is kind of the tragedy of Christie's tenure in a nutshell. That a guy who could have been the voice of the average Joe, a guy who on so many levels is so down to earth, somehow, somewhere along the way, got his head lost in the clouds. Signing off from Shooter's Bar in Exeter, New Hampshire, where I have a long drive back to Jersey ahead of me. Take it easy, Jersey.